this problem is a little bit tricky because what happens here is uh, we'll start here, go up here, and um, what you're going to have to do here <clears throat> for your x, um, starting off here with your cosine, this is going to go from, well, negative pi over 2 to pi over 2, but we're going to have to write this a little bit differently. So and I'll explain this, how I came up with this. So we got our pi over 2 here, and we have t minus 1, and then I'll just go ahead and write what I got for y. So pi over 2, t minus 1. And then for t... Okay, so what happens here? You plug in 0. I'll do 3 points. So plug in 0, you get negative 1. Uh, negative 1 times pi over, uh, pi over 2 is negative pi over 2. So cosine of negative pi over 2, it's just 0. Cosine of negative pi over 2. Um, actually, I take this back. I should have a 4 out in front here. Um, so this is negative 1 times 4, negative 4. Up at uh, 1. We get 0, so the cosine of 0, zero uh, just 1, and then sine of 0, 0. And then the si and you plug in 2 for these, you get pi over 2 for cosine, which is 0, and then pi over 2 for sine, which is 1 times 4. takes you up there. So um, just rewriting this, it's going to be equal to 4. And that's it.